All right, today we got a 12 volt, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Bouge RV. Let's open it up. Comes with a remote control, spare fuses, user's manual. We have some cables. I don't really know what size they are. Maybe four gauge? Not sure. All right, and here's the inverter. All right, on this side we have two AC receptacles. Uh, one of them is a 15 amp, the other looks like a 20 amp style. We have a terminal block so you can wire in directly here. Uh, our on off switch, our remote control jack there, and it does have one USB A. Uh, jack here on this side and on the other side we just have our terminals for our power connection and our fans and I was browsing through the manual here and it has an app download so I think this has Bluetooth to where you can connect to it with an app uh, we'll get to testing the app in a little bit but let's first hook this up to a battery and get it powered up all right, guys, so I got the Bouge RV inverter connected to the SunFun Kit's battery. So let's go ahead and power it on. All right, so far so good. And I did go ahead and download their app. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that. It does ask you to create an account, and so I've already gone through that process. Uh, so I think we just need to hit this plus symbol. All right, there we go. We've got BV Inverter 2000. So let's connect to that. There's the inverter. And there we go. It's showing our battery voltage, showing our AC output power. Obviously, it's zero. We don't have anything connected. Uh, shows our AC voltage here, 119 volts. Our frequency is 60 hertz. Temperature. Oh, it's gonna show us our maximum battery voltage and minimum battery voltage for the day. Very nice. And what do we have here? Okay, looks like we've got device name, software version, serial number. Oh, can we change? over discharge voltage oh we can so I guess 10 is the lowest yeah so you can go higher and then uh, I guess this is over discharge reminder 10.5 I guess that's whenever it starts complaining uh, that doesn't seem to be settable I guess only the this one is See here. Oh, okay. So the reminder voltage changes automatically. So whatever you set here, it just goes up 0.5 on the reminder voltage. Okay. And we can set our AC frequency, 50 or 60 hertz. Obviously, we want to keep it at 60 here in the North America. Uh, AC voltage, 120 or 110. So pretty cool. I'm, I'm digging it. Let's go ahead and plug something in and see how well this guy works at powering an AC load. So let's hook up our air conditioner. There we go. Let's turn it on. Start off on low. Let's take a look at their app here. Yeah, there we go. We're showing the wattage coming out. Uh, 300 and, well, about 395 right there. 450. Showing our battery voltage. Now we're down to 327. Awesome. I really like this app for a inverter. That's something that we don't see very much. That's pretty awesome. All right, so I got my induction cooktop 
plugged in. So let's go ahead and crank that guy up. See if we can't push this inverter. Okay, we got a fan on on the inverter now. And according to the app, we're doing 1731 watts. So let's see if we can push it a little bit harder. Eighteen twenty-two. Oh, there's nineteen fifteen. Nineteen forty-four. Yep. So we're we're knocking on that two thousand watt limit. <laughs> so we've got the air conditioner and the induction cooktop running. Should we try to push it some more? I think I can go one more notch. This is probably, this is definitely gonna push it over the edge. There we go. Now we're over 2000 watts, 2067. So we are definitely over the 2000 watt limit. Showing our device temps here, 96. It's taking it. Let's go ahead and bump it back down so we don't overload it. There we go. Now we're under 2,000 watts. All right, I'm just going to let that run at that 1930 until we boil that water. Let's see what we're pulling in on the DC side here. Yeah, uh, so we're getting uh, 180 amps coming in on the DC side. Yep, we can pull up the app for the battery here and we're showing 180 amps. Uh, so we're showing 2,285 watts, or 2,295 now, coming out of the battery. All right, I see a little steam coming out here, so we're about to start whistling. There it is. All right, let's turn that off. All right, so yeah, it, uh, it'll do what it says it'll do. Let's turn this AC here off. All right, so the fan is turned off on this guy. So let's take a look at the idle consumption. We'll disconnect everything so we make sure we don't have any AC draw. All right, so according to my battery app, we are pulling 6.25 watts at idle. That's pretty awesome. Well, actually we just went down to zero. Oh, oh is it searching? So that's up, oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, look at it, so it's up to 6.5 watts. I guess it's gonna set there for it. This is gonna set there at 6.52. Up, oh, now it's back down to zero. Awesome, so it's, uh, it's around 6.5 watts for it to idle consumption, which is pretty good. And at times it's even showing zero here. Uh, let's, let's plug it. Let's hook up my clamp and see what it says. So it looks like it's as low as 0.1 amp to about 0.5. Yeah, there's 0.5. Yeah, so it's kind of looking like it's cycling around 0.1 and 0.5 amps. 
All right, so I got my fluke and my oscilloscope out. Let's take a look at the voltage and the waveform. Uh, there we go. We do have a pure sine wave. Perfect. And uh, we're showing 119.5 volts AC. Very good. All right, so now let's take a look at their little remote control here. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. There we go. Plug this end in. And there it is. Nice color display. Showing our battery voltage, our AC voltage. It'll show our AC wattage here. Uh, oh, there's a backlight control. Yep, there you go. So that way it doesn't bother you while you're trying to sleep. If this is in your camper or RV or something like that. Oh, check that out. So that turns the AC. Oh, that button switches between 110 volts and 120 volts. Interesting. Okay, so we're back to 120 volts, 119. And then there's a power on off button here. And we're back on. All right, and lastly, let's open this thing up and take a peek on the inside. All right, here we go. And there's the guts. So we got two large heat sinks here. We got the fans placed right above those heat sinks so that's a good airflow design that's what you want you want the air to be drawn through those heat sinks directly we got those spots where those fuses can go those replacement fuses and it does look like they are socketed so that's nice uh, that actually makes it to where you can uh, use or service this thing yeah, it looks pretty tidy. Not a mess or anything like that. All right, so I think that's going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this inverter down there in the comments. As always, I'll leave links in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.